Hey guys, so today's a mini tea. Um, we're doing a few stories that have happened kind of over the last week and a bit-ish. I'm starting TikTok. There's probably no videos on there yet, but I'm starting it. <laughs> I'm starting it. So first story is to do with the Logan, well, I was gonna say the Logan Paul brothers. No, the Paul brothers. So Jake Paul's trying to fight Conor McGregor after knocking out like an ex NBA player, which that was his first pro fight, so obviously he got knocked out and now somehow, Jake thinks he can fight Conor McGregor. And he filmed a video like calling his wife ugly and really weird things. Anyway, that's happening. Uh, Logan Paul is fighting Floyd Mayweather, which is wild to me. I kind of want to watch it because I, I just have no clue how any of that is happening. Like who allowed this to happen? Who said that's a good idea? Go do that, Logan, have fun. So now we've got that out of the way. Uh, there's a recent kind of like huge creator so minecraft is coming back into the scene well it's been back for a while does it ever really go away no it only has like big influxes but i feel like it's always like a popular game and recently there was a big creator that kind of blew up on the platform called dream and he does these like speed runs where he has his friends going against him and it's like one against like four or five and he's trying to get to the end uh, before they catch him and kill him and it's like a speed run through Minecraft basically just from the start to finish and some people accuse him of cheating and saying how a lot of the things that happen to him in game are very convenient and it's like a one in like 600 billion chance that he would that that would happen so many times and he's basically just trying to disprove it I don't know what do you guys think about it do you guys think it's like a big deal if he is cheating do you think that like takes away from the entertainment factor of things or do you think it's entertaining because it just is entertaining and if it came out like 100% sure that it was fake would you guys stop watching it if you're watching it but also yeah so he's basically saying like it's completely like false that he's not cheating in the game and yeah that's that so then dixie and noah did a video where they did that like a uh, lie detector test so the same guy that does it with literally everyone and it's been recently kind of called out ever so slightly that apparently he fakes results based on kind of what the people want and so people are not really trusting his lie detector very much not that lie detectors are reliable as is they can't be admitted as evidence in court anyway and they're about 70 percent effective i think so you know take that as we will and a lot of people are giving dixie a lot of backlash for that video uh, mainly on tiktok i've seen i've been seeing a lot of people kind of mocking her on tiktok so there's questions where apparently it just seems like she's kind of like heartless or that she doesn't care about noah so things like when he's like oh, are you intentionally rude to me and she's like no He's like, well, so then you're just like rude to me on purpose. Um, there's things about how she doesn't see like a future with him and just like a bunch of things that people are calling out in videos um, about this video. Since the family interview with James Charles, it just seems like a lot of people are seeing issues with Dixie's behavior, um, mainly Dixie. I feel like on TikTok, it seems like Charlie's kind of slipping through the cracks uh, when it comes to criticism and Dixie's always the one that's being called out for being ungrateful or being, you know, whatever it is that people are calling her out for. And I'm just wondering, is it because they're as big as they are that now people are just trying to look any reason to dislike them? Or do you guys genuinely believe that there are valid reasons to dislike them? Like what is the general consensus here? I just feel like maybe with Dixie, she's 19. So I feel like, you know, it's a little bit better, a little bit easier on her to criticize her. But at the same time, like there are hundreds of thousands of comments constantly criticizing her. Like, that has to be difficult. But then I have an issue with like the hate coming towards Charlie because she is only 16 and I feel like a lot of that isn't criticism it's just like mocking them like there's a lot of TikToks just going she's so boring why does anyone watch her and I'm just like she's 16 let's just you know let's maybe not do that so then there was some big bear drama which you guys don't know what that's about so Adeline Morin is someone that I spoke about a few times on my channel only because there were some undisclosed ads that I spoke about which people were like 100% sure well like 99% sure but undisclosed and then she was flying during the pandemic and not quarantining so what happened was Adeline has this like friendship group that she's with and every year they do a big bear road trip they posted a video uh, where they started shading one of the girls that they go on the trip so they basically said um like one girl pulled out because she couldn't take a boyfriend with her and she got like you know a little bit like oh like i don't want to come anymore and because they were doing like a secret santa thing and obviously flights and everything they had to cover a lot of the costs for her like obviously if they were paying for accommodation and they were splitting it that means they had like one less person they had to split it like differently so they all paid more essentially Adeline started bringing up in literally every single vlog like every vlog that she would film it'd be like big bear drama update and it got to the point where people were trying to FBI their way into figuring out who the girl is that they didn't want to come on the trip so they would constantly like harass the girls and the girls would one by one film videos going it wasn't me guys and then Adeline filmed like the final video that people were really angry about where she basically said like 
in the pinned comment, she put the links to all the channels of the girls that were supposed to go on the trip, which then kind of like makes it easy for people to just start ticking off and seeing who doesn't respond to the drama to try and figure out who it was. And recently Adeline filmed a video basically apologizing for the whole thing, saying that she shouldn't have made it a drama, she shouldn't have done that because it put her friends in an uncomfortable situation where they had to defend themselves from stuff that wasn't to do with them. But people are not happy. I mean, there are a lot of disappointed people in the comment section that like this like isn't great. And people just seem really angry about this whole thing, mainly is because I guess she dragged it out for so many videos uh, that it started being a bit petty. I haven't watched Adeline since I was like 12. So I don't I don't know what the dynamic is there with, the, with their friendship group. I feel like I stopped watching Adeline before she became friends with them, but it just seemed like she was dragging it out for kind of absolutely no reason. And that's kind of what people are angry about. The next thing is Jenna and Julian. So Jenna, as you guys know, has left YouTube kind of earlier in the year, which is something that m most people are really upset about, including me. And Julian is still streaming on Twitch. Uh, he's still, you know, kind of like a present creator on the platform. But there was recently a rewind, the musical made by Michelle Carr. And there was a section where they did the Jenna apology video. And Julian was so angry about it. On stream, he literally said that they're like exploiting some of the worst bits of his life, how it's it's making a circus out of his life, it's it's attacking the person who he really cares about. I just saw a clip from like a, uh, like a YouTube rewind thing. I'm just, I'm so sick of feeling like this, this whole year and like my life is just this big circus. I just hate it, it's so stupid. The internet is like, it's just unbelievably like, unbelievably relentlessly pathetic sometimes. To see things like that and to see my life and my person's life be turned into a literal circus by, I don't know, by fellow creators is like, it's just a lot. It's just a lot to handle. Like I, got, I literally got texted the link and I watched it and it's like a joke of a musical of like what, like I watched only five seconds of it, but it's like, it just, it's just more of the same. Like, no, it's not separate from me. That's my fucking life. That's my person. That's my girlfriend. That's my life. That's like, that's like, you're, it's like, you're, you're putting this thing out there. That's just like such a joke and it's at our expense. It's like not harmless. And Michelle had to kind of apologize publicly. They took down that clip of the musical and she apologized on stream, basically just saying like, you know, she never intended for it to be exploitative or like it was poking fun at, Jenna, uh, she said, you know, it literally, they took the apology pretty much word for word and just put it into the musical as like an important part of 2020 because they did think it was like an important part of 2020. We felt the need to include her because she's such a big part of YouTube and she departed the platform this year. Additionally, I really hope that people, you know, what, you know, watch the musical. Watch the musical before you make an assessment. I didn't want to glorify it. I didn't want to satirize it because it's so specific. So we literally transcribed her words and chose the best sentences. The song doesn't even rhyme in some cases. It doesn't even rhyme, okay? And that, you know, to the point where the song didn't even rhyme because they were just trying to use the words that Jenna said to not like misrepresent what she said but I guess because it's such a touchy subject for both Jenna and Julian and for a lot of their fans it came off as exploitative I guess to take that and make it into a musical for a rewind and uh, I'm just wondering I think it's because Jenna was such a loved creator as well that you know that apology broke a lot of people's hearts and I think that's why people are angry about it so Logan Paul recently broke up with his girlfriend who was like a big part of his vlogs and recently Mike basically just said to him like how about hook you up with Valkyrie who's like a streamer and she responded basically just wasn't very happy that he was like publicly without her consent, just going like, oh, how about like, you? Uh, I, here's a new girlfriend, which, you know, she didn't agree to that joke. It was unprofessional. She was, he, they were apparently doing it in front of someone that she works with, like one of her colleagues. And she just thought it was very inappropriate. And then people had a go at her for having a go at Mike for saying that, when in reality it's like, she was just uncomfortable. I think it's just uncomfortable to come across that about yourself. But if you're just trying to like, I guess be like, oh, like, hey, why don't you date her? Like, you know, without ever, addressing that with her privately so uh people were having a go at her and she had to like apologize in a way she was just like addressing it she was like i was uncomfortable it's unprofessional to bring that up in front of my boss it's unprofessional to do it publicly why would you do that just what was the reason and i completely agree with her i just don't think it was like the right thing to do considering i mean i've never seen them interact so i feel like it came up just out of the blue i think he just found an attractive girl that has a lot of followers and was just like 
let's use her name. I really like the impulsive podcast. I'm not against the guys. I like the vlogs. I just think this was like a little bit of a misstep just purely because she seemed really uncomfortable with it. And I guess sometimes they forget that not everyone has the same boundaries. I think that's like a big thing with vlogs and LA and just the way that industry works is not everyone has the same boundaries. And just because maybe other girls would be okay with it doesn't mean that she's okay with it and vice versa, you know? Then, interestingly enough, Shane Dawson, Slowly making a comeback, right? Am I the only one? He's been posting on Instagram stories pretty much daily now. Just slowly coming back into people's good graces. He's releasing slime on his merch store. He's doing restocks. He's doing Black Friday sales. He's being mentioned and also taking part in Ryland's podcast. He is just, you know, kind of like becoming active everywhere but his own channel, which I guess is like the last battle to face. I'm just wondering how you guys think he's gonna come back. I think he's gonna do a documentary series on himself. I think he's gonna do like a my childhood, my like growing up, where I am now, why this all went down. I think he's gonna do like a multiple part docu-series thing about himself. And I think a lot of his fans are gonna be okay with it. Um, I think he's got a very loyal fan base and there are still people that support him to this day. And there are still people under Brandon's podcast and under, you know, everything asking for Shane Dawson to be back there excited for him to come back they say nice things about him so as much as like yeah he has a lot of people against him he has probably just as many if not more people going for him and i think if he comes back the response could actually be good surprisingly i know i'm, I'm shocked i think if he comes back of course there's going to be backlash uh there's going to be people super upset about it but i do think there are going to be a lot of people that are going to be happy to have him back and i think that's just because he has such a huge fan base that even if half that fan base wasn't okay with him coming back. There are still about 10 million people that are completely okay with him coming back. So that's, you know, a huge amount of people that are just okay with it. But recently, Hollywood Fix posted a clip from 2018 and it's a clip of Shane Dawson Ryland and a few people in Rodeo Drive just walking through and Shane Dawson sees the cameras and he starts doing like this really awkward run. Shane Dawson is making the run, the run for his life. To run for his life, Shane Dawson said. Run for his life, running for his life. Always in the back. Hey Shane, do you think Logan Paul has a chance in this fight coming up? What? Do you think Logan Paul has a chance in this fight coming up? I don't know. You don't know about it? <laughs> okay. Okay. I just, hey, there were some girls from Arizona actually hoping you were going to be here last night. Wait, what? Yeah, I swear to God. I hear, I hear people asking all the time, you ever see Shane Dawson? And I say, yeah, he's at, I see him at Crave and Studio City, but that's it. Really? I don't leave my couch. I swear to God. People are always asking. Really? Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Let's get a shot, Shane. <laughs> Oh, I guess, go ahead. Hey Shane. Hey Shane, let me get a picture. And then I went into the description and said 2018. This is a clip from 2018. Now, here's my conspiracy theory. What if Shane asked them to post it? What if Shane paid them to post it? What if he was like, I need people to start talking about me positively, not negatively. What if you post this really weird, creepy video where he's like, the guy is zooming in on Shane running and he's like, he's running for his life, he's running for his life and he's like singing. It's really strange. And Shane was like, what if we post this and people start feeling bad for me because they're like, oh, invasion of privacy, so creepy. And what if people start like defending Shane? What if this was like a ploy to get people to be on Shane's side? Hmm? Tin four hats. And yeah, I just feel like he's slowly but surely making a comeback. And what are you guys thinking about it? I know there are a lot of people that are hugely against Shane Dawson, but there are, like I said, probably equal parts. People that are very happy to see him back. What side of the camp are you guys on? Are you excited to see him come back? Are you, are you maybe not excited, but intrigued to see how he comes back and if he pulls it off? Are you completely just like against it? I don't want to see him back on the platform. Like what camp are you guys in? I want to know. The next one is Tati Halo Beauty recently released an immune immunity booster thing. Like you pour it into water, you know, it's like a multivitamin basically to apparently help your immunity. But I know a lot of people, a lot of professionals say that those actually just aren't really helpful because if you're healthy, if you have a healthy diet and everything's completely fine supplement wise, just naturally in you, you don't really need those and they're not very helpful. You basically just pee out everything that it gives you because you'll have just like more vitamins that, you, that your body needs and it will just flush it out. So people are just wondering like, you know, is it necessary if you know you're not lacking, if you're not deficient in anything, is it necessary to take a multivitamin or some kind of an immunity booster? Is it just good to have a healthy diet, try and get your nutrients 
from your food and then if you are deficient in something then take a supplement like for example i take b12 purely because i'm vegetarian and like 80 percent vegan and vegans are supposed to take b12 and because i am 80 percent vegan I take B12 because I don't want to be deficient. I also have, I think, low iron. So I take iron. But if you're not deficient in anything, then you don't really need to take them. You just need to continue with your regular diet. So if you're just wondering if it's like a scam, essentially is what they're calling it, or if it's like an actual valid thing to release. <laughs> that sounds so weird. Why don't I phrase it like that? And also people are wondering, you know, with the lawsuit, how are they still releasing stuff? But obviously, just because you're in a lawsuit doesn't mean you can't release products, you know? So they're obviously releasing products. It's just weird because it's one business partner suing another business partner, where they're also both technically releasing products together which is really strange it's a strange dynamic and then the next one is the D'Amelio family so Charlie Dixie and the parents are releasing their long-awaited uh, because they've been talking about this for a while reality show they're going to be releasing it on Hulu in 2021 hold on let me get the dad roll on the sleeves can anyone see me hey guys. guys we are so excited to announce that we have an original series coming to Hulu in 2021 we can't wait to share our lives with you all and show you our day-to-day -day in LA and we can't wait for you to get to know us all better. All right, so what do you think is going to happen in this sh on this show? Are you like flipping <laughs> tables? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just wondering, are you guys excited for it? Are you guys fans of the family? Are you guys fans of the, the girls? Um, are you going to be watching it because you like them? Or are you going to just be watching it because you're intrigued to see what they do? I think I'll give it a watch. I think I want to know what it's about. And maybe I'll make a few videos about it. Um, I just think it's kind of weird to see like a proper reality show. Like this isn't a YouTube, this is not a YouTube reality show. This is like a Hulu streaming service reality show about YouTubers. I think it's weird. I, I just think it's strange, right? Like I, I'm intrigued. I'm really intrigued by what they're gonna come out with. Anyway, that's all the stories that I have for today. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, anything you wanna comment down below and subscribe to those videos every time something happens. Hit that bell, be notified when that's happening. Social media links, any other links in the description. I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.